Hello, Wendy here with Jazzy Doodle Designs and I've been asked to do a video on uh, some of my finished coloring pages. And as I stated in my bio, colored pencil has not been a medium I've been doing for long, but I thought I would go through some of the pages that I've colored. So the, there's two in the Worlds Within Worlds by Kirby Rosanas. Uh, first, I colored this dragon's eye, and I did it with Black Widow pencils. So um, I really enjoyed coloring this one. I thought it was a lot of fun. Uh, the second one I did, this one actually has a color along on my channel, and this is Kirby Rosanna's Octopus Page. And I used Prismacolor pencils and acrylic paint and white Posca pen for this one. In this book, the Country Christmas Coloring Book by Creative Haven, I did this um, Christmas page. I had a lot of fun with this one. Uh, I really like how it turned out. I did this one with Prismacolor pencils. So I've done a few in the Village Charm uh, Creative Haven. Uh, I really like Teresa Goodbridge. She was also the one with the, um, the Christmas one. And I did this Village Market page which is kind of fun. And there's parts of this one that I enjoy and are that I like. And then there are parts uh, like the sign that I'm not a big fan of. But um, this was one of the very first pencil, colored pencil drawings that, or colored pencil colorings <laughs> that I have done. So overall, I was happy with it. Um, I followed it up with the Creamery, the Main Street Creamery. And once again, this is another one where I like some of the page and other parts I would do over again. I would do maybe a little different. As you can tell, um, there's some graininess to the colored pencil. And um, so I think I need a few more layers to really uh, bring it to life. Now the last one that I've done in this book is this one. And it's really a page that I'm not fond of. It just... I don't like the colors. I, I don't like the texture. There's just... There's an awful lot I don't like about this page. But you know, that's how we learn, is we do things and try things, and sometimes it they come out and sometimes they don't. So it was a learning thing. But like I said, that's art. That's how it works. This one, there's a color along on my page for both the background and then I use, so those I use uh, Mungio pastels and for the little bunny I used Pablo colored pencils and so there is a full tutorial on this um, and I just printed it on Spring Hill Bristol which I actually really like. Um, this is another Rachel Mintz uh, that I printed. Um, I bought I think it's a hundred plus pages from Rachel Mintz and I uh, just a lot of really cute images but I really like this one. Can zoom in a little bit. Um, here's another one from that same coloring book and once again these are all printed on the, the Bristol, uh, Spring Hill Bristol and I believe I used Prismacolor for all of those. I do tend to prefer uh, Prismacolor pencils. 
So this one is from Lisa Matrokin, and she is a fellow YouTube um, artist. She is very talented, and she has not only a YouTube channel, but her own little, like, think of Facebook. She has her own equivalent of Facebook, and it's called Tom, T-A-L-M. And it's a nice little community of artists that I really enjoy collaborating with. And I shouldn't say collaborate. I enjoy speaking with them and chatting. But I've learned a lot from her. And this was an image that she had. And I really like the steampunk uh, style. So this was a lot of fun to color. This was another one of hers that I did. It was on the glow technique. There's things I really don't feel like I did justice to in this picture. The girl tends to look a little bit too old because I've shaded her probably a little incorrectly for her age. But you know, I, I think a lot of this is, it's just a process. We have to go through the learning process. And during that time, you're gonna produce things that look different than you envision and as you develop your skills they will become more in line with what you want them to be this is one that i did at christmas just we were supposed to evoke a, a pink mood and this is from coco the the name of it is coco and it's from coloring books 2020 on Etsy is where I got the actual line art from this. I enjoyed I enjoyed uh, coloring her. So Lisa had done a challenge for to evoke a pink mood. And so while I had pink in this portrait, it wasn't really evoking a pink mood. It just had pink elements. So I did this one, and this one is from Face and Art on Etsy. Once again, I'll try and link all of these um, Etsy shops to where you could get these images if you're interested. But overall, I felt like I did have a pink mood to this one, and in general, I was happy with how it came out. Could there be room for improvement? Yes. Um, this is another one. I it, it wasn't for the pink challenge. It just happens to have pink due to the flowers. But this is from that Coloring Books 2020. And um, I just thought it was a fun little image to color. I really like how the black made it pop. This was a follow along I did. Um, let me back out a little so you can see the whole thing. But um, Chris Chang, I'm sure if you've done colored pencils at all, you've heard of her. She did a color along, and so I just literally copied her verbatim. And I was very pleased with how this turned out. Um, I think it turned out really well. And I learned a lot by doing that. It was hard. She uses a lot of different layers, but overall it's very pleased with the results. Now for those of you that only care about colored pencils, at this point I thought I would just show you a few things that I've done using Copic markers. So these are older. This is Gardens and Goddesses by Mitzi Sato Wolf. I think it is. Um, I bought this years ago. I think one of these, yeah, 2015. So this was back when I was doing, I wasn't doing any colored pencil because that's something I just started. This was when I was doing more Copic coloring. And um, so I just thought I'd flip through briefly and just show you a little bit of the Copic marker work that I've done. As you can see, the Copic marker does bleed through 100% on the back. So I like that these are one-sided. And um, 
I just found these images to be fun. They're a little challenging. Um, it's a little intimidating to do skin tones. Um, and if I put something behind this, you can kind of see the line art coming through her skin. But overall, I'm really pleased by how some of these turned out. Others, not as much. <laughs> Excuse me. So I like how some of these turned out. Others, not as much. Um, really like how this one is. I just think it um, is fun. And I've thought about going back in and doing the background. But I'm not sure. I kind of like it just on the white. Now this is one that I, I was not happy at all with how it turned out. I don't, there isn't much at all about this one that I like. In fact, I don't think there's anything about it I like. I don't like the color scheme. I don't like um, how her hair turned out, how her dress turned out, how the leaves turned out. I'm not even sure. Maybe I had been drinking. You never know. Um, but it's just not one that I'm pleased with at all. And I've just been doing these front to back. And this one is just a work in process. And I haven't finished um, her yet. So if you haven't seen this coloring book, it's got a lot of really beautiful images in it. And if you're into mermaids, like look at that. That's just pretty. Um, just fun to color. I'm really looking forward to this one. I may go and do some of these in colored pencil. I haven't decided. I, I can't decide if I want to keep it just all Copic or move into colored pencil. Um, a lot of what I was doing in years past was card making. So I would do these fun little images like these. These are just a few of the ones that I did. Um, Here's a couple of bookmarks. I just thought that was a fun image. It was fun to color her hair. It says, books give a soul to the universe, wings to the mind, flight to the imagination, and life to everything. I am an avid book reader, so I really enjoyed this one. Um, this was just a fun little image that I did. But these, I would take these and I would put them on cards. And... This is actually by the same artist This um, that I just showed you, the Mitzi Sato Wolf. Um, these were some, she has an Etsy shop, so you could buy them in smaller form. And so um, these are a couple of her images that I did. Um, once again, I would just sit at night and just kind of color and, and have fun with it and kind of play around with some different color combinations, different hair color, different body armor color, you know, different helmets, different rock, you know, and just play around with the different color combinations. And and that's what I, I did. Oh, don't look at this one. Um, I did quite a few of these over the years. And I really enjoyed working with colored pencils. This is kind of a fun one where I was playing around with some glow technique on, on the, the skull and on her face from whatever potion was escaping. But um, So yeah, these are just a few little images that I did. Um, I really enjoy working with colored pencil. Um, I really, or I, I meant to say, I really enjoyed working with Copics, but I also like working with colored pencil. Um, the last two images that I've done were in Joanna Basford's World of Flowers, and this is the very latest one. It is a full color along on, uh, the Jazzy Doodle YouTube page and I used Arctic pencils and Mungio pastels and um, 
I have mixed feelings. I didn't enjoy the Arctic on this paper. Um, I think they're I think they're good pencils. I didn't particularly like them on this paper. I tried them on that Spring Hill Bristol, and I, that paper has more tooth, and I did feel like they perform better. Um, so I will be using them again to get a feel. Um, in full disclosure, I do tend to like softer pencils. I really enjoy working with Prismacolor. I struggle a little bit more with Polychromos, but um, I feel like the Arctics are kind of in between the two. They're not as soft as Prisma, uh, not as hard as Polychromos, but uh, price-wise, they're, they're much more budget-friendly. Um, and then the other one that I did... is this butterfly page and I um, there's a full color along on this on my blog is or on my YouTube channel as well so yeah so that's the ones that I've been doing this so here are some of the watercolors that I've done I'm just gonna briefly show you I have no idea what colors I used, what brands I used. I've done these over the years. This one's a card. This one's a card, and I was actually pretty proud of it until my husband said that I filmed, that I drew the pine cone upside down and that the fat part would be attached to the tree. So, you know, this is my interpretation. I enjoy watercolor. I think it's a fun medium. Um, it's a difficult medium for me in the sense of um, I tend to be a little bit of a control freak or I want to be in control and this medium doesn't always allow for that. There is a certain um, part of it that it just it does what it does and then if you make your paint really thick you can do this um, however I really like the more flowy look of watercolor so these are also cards I had the idea I was going to make my own Christmas cards one year and then didn't feel comfortable sending them out. Uh, this little guy, I do know that I did, I believe it's a color along from Lindsay the Frugal Crafter. I like her. Um, and I'm pretty sure this was a color along with her. And I, I enjoyed how it turned out, except for I think I needed either his hip to be a little bigger or I needed a second eyeball. This was a fun one on snow. It's really amazing how much color really is in snow. These are just some roses that I did uh, once again with the idea of making this a card. I've done a lot of cards in my life. I send out probably close to a hundred Christmas cards every year that I make. And um, so yeah. So that's, that's some of the watercolor work I've done. Thanks for watching.